Good morning, traders. It's Saturday morning. There's no time off, right? If we want to be successful and, and we love what we do, we put in the time and energy in to make that happen. I want to go over a question that I get quite often is, you know, why do you even day trade? Why do I day trade? You know, what does it take? Um, some people, it's financial freedom. You know, some, it's a lot of money. You know, for me, you know, you might not believe me, but I really don't care about fame or fortune. You know, what I really care about is just doing what I love to do. And that leads me to my next slide here. It's, it's simple. You know, it's, it's what I love to do. For me, I'd rather not have a lot of money and do what I love uh, than be really wealthy but, but hate what I do. You know, For me, this is what being rich is. Being rich is being able to do what you enjoy doing every day. Being able to wake up and say, I'm excited to get to work. You're excited to get out of bed because uh, you get to go enjoy what you do. You know, Some people make a lot more money, but they wake up and, and they dread you know, the day. They dread doing what they do because they, they don't enjoy it, but they're making a lot of money. I don't want to live my life paying bills. I want to be able to wake up and enjoy doing what I'm doing. So first, before we get any further in this slide, because we're getting into what does it take to become a day trader as well, you have to love it. If you do not love day trading, you're not going to be successful at it. That's the first step, but really this step is necessary for any venture you want to take in life. If you want to be very successful at something, you got to love it. You know, There's certain ventures and careers I don't understand. Uh, for instance, you know, I know people who make a lot of money at fishing. Uh, I don't understand anything about making money fishing, but if you love what you do and you put in the time and energy and effort into it, you can be successful at it. We live in a country, fortunately, where you can just hone in and focus on one little niche, one little thing, such as kicking a ball. And if you can get so good at kicking a ball, you can make millions of dollars doing it. Same thing as throwing a ball as a quarterback. You know, it's just we live in a world where you just focus on one thing and you just love it and you put in the time and energy into it and you can be successful at it. But love is the first step. Some people want to do it for financial reasons or just to spend more time with family, you know, wh whatever the case may be. But for me, you know, I simply do this just because I enjoy doing it. I wake up every day and I absolutely love what I do. That's why I'm now helping you guys out. I really want to see every single one of you succeed in the market. I, I love this. I love helping out. It's what I wake up and I'm excited to do every day. That's the reason why I do it. Next slide is it takes more than love though. There's there's three steps I have laid out here. You know, some people may have more or less, you know, but but these are the three in my opinion uh, are the necessary steps in order to become a successful day trader. Uh, and that's effort. You gotta put the effort into it, guys. You know, I have right here the spouse analogy. I just, I just thought of this, but uh, you see it a lot of times happen in, in marriages. You know, as the guys get older, it's usually the husbands. Uh, they just start putting in less effort uh, into loving their wife. They still love their wife, but you don't see it, and th therefore there's no benefits that are reaped uh, in the relationship because the husband is, is working on everything else. He's working at his job. He's working on the house. He's working on everything else in life except his relationship. Uh, with his wife and because of that there's, there's no benefits reaped and it's the same thing uh, in day trading you can love it but if you don't put in the energy if you don't put in the effort into learning and studying uh, improving your day trading skills you know you're not going to reap any benefits you got to put in more than love you got to put in effort that leads me to my next slide you can't just look up the staircase you got to take the steps you got to walk up them you have to initiate it you can't just look up the staircase. You got to walk up them. You can't just look at your wife, you know, and say I love you. You got to prove it. You can't just look up the staircase and say I want to be up there. You got to take the steps. You, the same thing with day trading. You can't just watch other people trade. You you actually have to trade. You got to trade, you know, with your own live account, you know, get the emotional side and the technical side and really hone in and and work on what you're lacking at. You know, when you have losses, don't just walk away. Uh, and not learn anything from it. Actually, set the computer and, and, and learn from them. That was hard for me, you know, because I just had a, a huge loss, and I'm having to accept, you know, that I made a mistake. Because there's going to be times on your way up the staircase that you're going to retrace a few steps. I mean, for me, you know, I, I think I tripped and fell down the staircase. <laughs> uh, but that's okay. You get right back up and you keep on going, guys. You know, there's nothing that's going to stop you if you just keep a positive attitude and you just continue to climb up each step no matter how long it's going to take finally it takes time and mark douglas said this perfect guys he said many underestimate the amount of time and effort it takes to become successful at trading but they overestimate the amount of profits they should make quickly you know many people see the fortune that comes with being successful at day trading and they just think it's going to happen overnight unfortunately that's not the case and then they end up realizing that after they lose their money and then 
they stop training. That's why it's so important, guys. You know, if you're young, if you're still in high school, even college, or if you just don't don't even have a lot of money, you know, get started. Get started with no money. It's the best time to get started. I promise you, because those who are very successful now, they started with little amounts of money, like fifteen hundred, two thousand, three thousand. They started with low amounts of money, and that way, you know, if they lost this money, they were still able to pick themselves up and keep going. But those who think they got to wait until they can fund a PDT account of twenty five k. And then they blow it all. It's the worst way to learn, guys. You know, you got to learn with small amounts of money because in the beginning, you're learning yourself. You know, it's weird. It's weird. You're learning yourself. You're learning your own emotions. Uh, and you're going to take a lot of losses, but but they're going to be lessons. Yeah, and that takes me to my final slide, which I just go over the three points I made here. You know, this takes initially love. You got to love what you do. And then after that, you got to put in the effort. You got to put in the effort and you got to put in the time. The time is the hardest part because everyone learns at a different pace. Now for me, I'm a slower learner and so it takes me a little bit longer. You know, I'm in this two and a half years, been training a year and a half and because of that, you know, it's taken me a little bit more time to to get where I want to be. But it really at the end of the day, you know, as long as you put in these three things, you know, you guys are going to be good to go. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. We'll see you Monday morning.